In this video, we will prove the impossibility of the classic geometric construction of squaring the circle. So what does that mean specifically? So to square the circle means that given a circle of constructible diameter, it is not always possible to construct with a straight edge and compass alone the edge of a square that has the same area as the original circle. And so our counterexample is going to be the following. Take the unit circle, the circle whose length, whose radius is equal to 1. Um, 1 is a constructible number. Um, the diameter would then be 2, which is also a constructible number. By the classic formula, area equals pi r squared, we see that the area of the unit circle would be pi in that situation. We want to argue that you cannot construct a square whose area is pi. So if we did that, we had our square like this, the area of a square is its side length squared. That's why we call it squaring, right? So let's say this square is s by s. Well, if this was equal to pi, then that means taking the square root of both sides, the side length would have to be the square root of pi. And so I then claim that the square root of pi, which is the necessary side length for this triangle, is not a constructible number. Because if it were, if the square root of pi was a constructible number, then if you square the square root of pi, you get pi, um, and the field, of constructible numbers is a field. So I should, if, if the square root of pi is constructible, then the square root of pi squared is likewise constructible, which is then pi. But pi is a transcendental number, um, and therefore no algebraic extension of Q contains pi. The field of constructible numbers is in fact an infinite algebraic extension of the rational numbers, and therefore contains no transcendental numbers. And that's where we get our con contradiction. Pi is not a constructible number. Um, and therefore, it is impossible to construct um, a square for every circle.